Hello again I am Chintan and you are watching Archivision in this video we are going to take a look at how to set up multiple views inside of SketchUp so if you have worked in a 3D software before you know that you need to set up multiple camera angles so that you can work also some of them have a viewport set up already the top view the left view and in the 3D view so how you can set that inside of SketchUp uh, let's take a look at that so let's go okay so hop inside of SketchUp and let's take this model again for example uh, so yeah basically uh, this is your default tray and you can click over here to pin this on the right side now it is pinned and it won't go back in so yeah most of you will have a, a tray known as the scenes tray inside of here if you don't have like i don't have this you need to go to windows default tray and scenes okay so now we have a scene over here so let's say we need a scene something like this so yeah all you need to do is just click plus over here and it will say save as new style and update as style so save as new style create scene so now you can see over here on the top left we have scene one okay so let's click over here in the top view and let's also click panel projection on and now uh, create a scene over here so yeah this is scene number two you can see this is scene number one and this is scene number two so it also saves the style of the camp perspective that you have set up so this is an orthographic or the pal prediction and this is in perspective okay So this is how you set up camera angles inside of SketchUp. Also, if you don't like having this animation sort of thing, and you need to like do this for working purposes, so let's say you click the front end and create a scene, and you take the left, and you create a scene over here, and you don't need this animation to slow you down so go to view animation and settings and enable scene transitions is ticked off so uncheck this and close this so now you can see you don't have any transitions between the scenes and you don't need to wait for the animation to complete and you can just skip to the scenes that you need to work and work accordingly from there so yeah this was a quick tutorial of how to set up camera angles and scenes inside of sketchup that can make you work faster and much more efficiently inside of sketchup so yeah i hope this helps and if you like the video please subscribe and in the next video we'll take a look at how to create shadows and fog inside of sketchup see you in the next one